my main instrument is, is drums. So that's always like kind of where I come from. I couldn't find anybody where I was that could sing, so I wanted to try it myself. And then I just kept working on it. So I never really played at the same time. So I record drums and then I sing. And I'm going to do the same live. I'm either going to just play drums or sing. So right now I'm just singing. I chose the name Mother of All because it kind of encapsulates uh, for me something organic and kind of grand and there's a lot of personal meanings in it. I just feel that the name is big and all-encompassing so you can put a lot of things into that. On this album we have Steve DiGiorgio on the bass. I love death. I love his playing on, um, on those albums and the Control of the Night stuff and Sadus. I just, you know, all around very inspiring. Um, and I think bass is such a wonderful instrument. And I always wanted to have more bass and uh, more like unique bass. And thankfully he liked the music. He thought it was interesting, a good challenge. Actually, he just got Corona. He needed to get back and start playing again. So that was perfect. Travis, he's really cool because he listens to the music and he wanted all the text. And we started out with this idea of you know, solipsism, like somebody being infatuated with themselves or just seeing the world as if they're the only one existing in it. And, um, and we felt that that kind of fit this age that we're living in sometimes, that people can get caught up in that mindset. And in the beginning, we just had a room and a guy looking into a mirror and that evolved and evolved and evolved. And all of a sudden, like the room had gone and there was just darkness behind him and then Travis started putting some planets in and we started talking about that from being just a guy it became kind of maybe like a picture of humanity right now or something like that he's so professional he's uh, it's very easy to work with him I usually start with guitar but it's fun to, to like um, imagine that you're a different musician. So first you make a riff, then you play the drums, maybe in your head or on the drum kit, and then you get an idea, and then you have a different perspective, and then you go back and then you maybe change the guitar from the drummer's perspective. So I think that's very fun to like uh, do that mind shift where you're one minute you're, you're, you're the guitarist and the next you're the bassist and then you're the vocalist. That's, that's pretty fun. You know, metal is, it's hard to do something radically different in this wonderful genre. So some of the old bands, you know, if they started today, they wouldn't be as big because what they did back then was more unique and and they were maybe the first and they had some iconic songs that people remember and stuff like that. But you can still like make new stuff. You have like bands like Igor, you know, you have a lot of cool bands doing new stuff or Blood Incantation, like there's a lot of very, very cool bands. Mm -hmm. 